Hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Last time, we finally, we did, well, did more of the, um, I can't remember place, what's it called now, the coast. Ah, uh, the Vrita, uh, extra, the Exile of Plains. I was thinking of the Vrita Coast, well, no, I was just thinking of the, the Vrita Palace, that's why. Um, and the reason why I'm thinking of the Vrita Palace? It's that time, baby. We're going to the Winter Palace. So, everyone, get your best glam bags on. Get looking your best. Let's double check people's levels and see if we've got the best equipment for people. Yep. Oh. Uh, we're going to want... Good for that one. Oops, I thought I muted that. I'm so sorry. That's it. Um, double check. Oh, I need to sell some crap on my inventory. So I'll double check it again as well. I'll just sell it. I'm just going to go to a shop and sell these. Um... I do want to try and get... I just want to get, want to get this ladies' night started and going, shall we? <laughs> so I didn't sing to the mic a couple of so I can even know my voice is so bad. I don't think it will, but still, lots of weird and stuff. Excuse me, one. Yes, sir. So I've been.
Let's get going. Let's roll, ladies. I hope this goes well as well, because if it goes bad, it goes bad. I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't think on this too, But <laughs> yeah, I'm really over levels. Probably don't want to do this quest, but also, is it fun? And quite romantic. We have to reach the Empress before Corypheus. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the uh, Empress is holding a bomb. Turn up the game. If it's too loud on the thing, let me know. During the festivities, Celine will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but it seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orle falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Selene's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Selene outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough without the rumor that Briella is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of saboteurs at her command. Promising lead. Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress? It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true it and where to get out, the Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Selene's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne.
Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Selene is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. You've given me plenty to think about. With Gaspard and Selene's armies entrenched, we cannot openly march troops to the palace. My agents will ensure your soldiers get inside. But it must be a few at a time to avoid attention. Understood. Just give the word, and we'll begin. Yep, it's time to go to the Winter Palace! The political situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. So, you're Inquisitor Kadash. From the stories I heard, you are hewn from solid steel and carried a thousand daggers. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orle. And which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. The handsome, charming one, of course, my lady. <laughs> I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next. I can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. You're a woman after my own heart, my lady. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briara, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. Tell me there's more to your suspicion than the elves were acting dodgy. That ambassador, Briala, used to be a servant of Selene's. That is, until my cousin had her arrested for crimes against the Empire to cover up a political mistake. If anyone in this room wishes Selene harm, Inquisitor, it's that elf. She certainly has reason. <sighs> be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall
shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? Don't be an idiot. How could the arrows of Andraste be a dwarf? Maybe it's just a servant. Oh, fuck yeah! Pardon me, dwarf. Have you seen a ring lying about anywhere? It was a gift from the Countess Montbelliard, enchanted by the Fomari. I cannot go into the ball without it. Is this ring particularly valuable? Its worth in coin is not as important as its social value. It was a gift from a member of the Council of Heralds. If she finds out I lost it, she will never forgive me. Not even if I live to be a thousand years old. That's a terrible predicament. If the Countess finds out, make her have mercy. Should you happen upon it, I beg you, let me know. going to do if I cannot find my ring? Is this the ring you are looking for? You are a treasure! I cannot believe you found it! You have saved me a lifetime of mortification! How can I thank you enough? I need a key for that, so I'll go hunt for a key. Is it true that you still with any doubt of the fate by Andrew? Ah, oh, that's a special type of door which I don't feel I'll be going through. Yep, see? I don't know if I should save it or not. I'll save it just in case, because I think, if I remember correctly, there's other doors that you can use for that one. This is a private conversation. Please leave. from the front lines? My spies said the bodies were beyond counting. Surely the Empress will put an end to the war tonight. Pray, my friend. If the Maker does not hear us now, just pray. We found the key room downstairs earlier. Yeah, like I said, that other door to Halador, and I don't think... I don't know if, that's, if I need anything from that door.
Und Pinnacle? Weil da hat sie halt Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'm not intimidated by stuffy Orlesian nobles. These people burn cities as a diversionary tactic and assassinate one another as a feint. The game is like Wicked's Grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning, especially Sarah. Maybe tell her twice. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. And rest a watch over us all. I'll save them in case things go horribly wrong, but hopefully they will not. I said this is a precautionary save. Open here. Well, that's useful. Ooh. I can hardly but interesting. Back to that one. Yeah, there isn't any point going up that one just yet. I wish there was more news coming from the continent. I heard Celine was having Good the entire way. becoming an increasingly rare commodity. Why would she do such a thing now? This dress uniform is preposterous. Formal armor would have been better. It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. I heard the Grand Duke invited the Inquisition. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lady Inquisitor Kadash. <laughs> That's actually full too formal. Vanquisher for of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. 
love it. That's not how it went. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin <laughs> to the King of Navarra, nine times removed. Hero of Orlais, right hand of the divine. Madame Vivienne, first enchanter of the Circle of Magi, enchanter of the Imperial Court, mistress of the Duke of Gislain. Her ladyship, my balls each, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Homley, commander of the forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana. Nightingale of the Imperial Court, veteran of the Fifth Flight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and Left Hand of the Divine, and Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antira City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Until Vivian, not Vivian, and um, Josephine gets closer. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Um. Let's hope the breeze does not herald an oncoming storm. Even the wisest mistake fair winds for foul. We are at the mercy of the skies, Inquisitor. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have no words to suffice. Halam Shiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. That'll be interesting. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Was here. Meaning she's Josephine, after you to do more work. You always take her side. Josephine, oh Josephine, is this her? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them? Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antifa says so. Is it true? Those stories are little more than wistful thinking, my lady. How dull Redcliffe must have been, then. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. 
Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. <laughs> she still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette, that's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be... Let us say, chaotic. I'm interested to know about... Um, talk about yourself. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artist. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished the painting? Mm -hmm. I must wait for my inspiration. And I must wait for your tutors. Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship. But the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Go on, Josephine. Half the royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention. But they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long. I'll see you later. Another time. Can you believe the Inquisition here in France with us at play? How could the Empress afford to rid of it the palace without what the girl? Hello, Sarah. Perhaps I heard that this wasn't a squire at all. He's a sheep. The palace was damaged as by Gaspar's catapult. Extra toes. He fired what a fun close marrying crowd. Making any new friends? <laughs> Not likely. I'm watching them watch you. They're all glances and titters. Not sure if they're allowed to like you yet. Pathetic. Any hidden treasures from friends of your little network? You mean, do any of the servants burying tarts between these windy tits hate them enough to give up a stash or two? I'm not saying yes, but wait, yes I am. There's some good stuff hidden around. Keep an eye out. Think I can get you to dance with me later? <laughs> me on their precious tiles. That's a good one. Besides, I don't. That's not me, yeah? Couldn't be me. Any thoughts on who we're investigating? The Empress is pretty. It'd be fun to drink and kill stuff with Gaspard. Brianna is friggin' funny. Elves, elves, elves. But it's really a pissing match with an old lover. Don't know the rest, but that explains a lot. They're all lying, but Celine's nice to look at. Good thing we're here to save her neck. Back soon. Not going anywhere. I don't know how to hear this yet. Yeah, doing. Hey, Callan! Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know. They won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? 
I'll let you know at once if I do. Do you have any advice? Well, don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. What do you think the Inquisition should support? Despard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. We'll talk later. I await your signal. Hello, Vivian. You and here we are. You haven't embarrassed yourself as much as I feared. Well done, my dear. I've always wondered, what's the Orlesian fascination with masks? We all wear masks, my dear, not just the people in Orlais. Who you are as a daughter, a lover, a friend, are very different people from the Inquisitor and Herald of Andraste. Orlesians codify this truth. Make it visible. By giving each of these selves its own separate face, they believe they can be their truest selves unmasked. Oh god, sound get myself confused. Anything happening I should know? Keep an eye out for Celine's pet apostate. I've no doubt she's involved in this. It seems like you enjoy this, Vivian. This is the game, Inquisitor. Of course I enjoy it. If I didn't, I'd be dead by now. Any words of wisdom for navigating the ballroom? Speak to the Council of Heralds. Six of them are here tonight. The seventh member of the Council is indisposed. His absence will complicate the negotiations. The Council are the highest ranking players of the game. They see everything. They might know something we can use. Tell me, Vivian, where do you want the crown to fall? What I want is irrelevant, darling. Orlais requires stability, and that is best served by Empress Selene. Be ready to act when I give the signal. Always, my dear. Good. I was hoping I would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Selene is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. Look around. Hmm. 
We are not serving drinks. Order someone else. Interesting. The package is in the guest wing. Upper room. The one of the garden. Statuettes. No. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. Are curious. Another time, my lord. Yeah, I think if you try and talk to him too much, he gets upset by it. Hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. Oh, awfully selfish of this, Philippe, running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I've half a mind to inform the dowager that would teach him to shirk his duty to roll some elven maid. The night of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspar's death threats to the council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening to me, Juan. You are too kind, Inquisitor. You don't want to be here, stranger. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. <gasps> he went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Hmm. Did you hear what Gaspar said to you, Germain? His own uncle. Germain bore his nephew's spite better than the rest of the council. Did you see that pretty flashy movie? Well, well. What's this? My lady! My lady Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three wear the masks of House Valmont. They signify that we are public faces of the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable. I'm always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. That's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. 
As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade. Enjoy the Interesting. Well, I can go straight into the rubbish. of time. Mm. You must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet apostate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heel, if you ask me. Did you need something? Did I hear correctly? If you're interested in bringing the Templars to heel, you may have found an ally. If that's true, I would welcome an alliance with the Inquisition. I will get in touch with your Lady Nightingale. I have assets that might benefit your cause. Gentlemen. Yeah, we've got an agent. Yeah, that's for later on. But now we got to go and get to the more dangerous part of the game, which of course, we're going out of bounds. You're supposed to go in that one, aren't you? Go in that one. <laughs>
the self uh, puzzle. Oh, come on. I made a mistake. I'm gonna panic something bad, but fix it. I'm Back to the ballroom. Waste of time. Second bell. That would be the second bell. Fashionably late now. Well, well. What have we here? <gasps> the leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? I'm here on important business concerning the entire Empire. As am I, it seems. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I don't know. Do we? <laughs> you are being coy. I'm being careful. Not unwise, here of all places. Allow me oh, to there speak we go. first. Remember, but that Recently is I found our fanfic warden. No, not fanfic. Our uh, spring warden's lover. These very halls, an agent of Tavinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tavinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can.
you left Celine alone? Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. Would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. Riala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The Ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting. This ball is a waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. You don't seem to care much for the ball. Or legions pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption, and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. We are here to save Empress Selene, and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Olay needs in this crisis. <laughs> you support the civil war? Of course not. Chaos is what Corythius wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Lucky man to get a boost in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna now go to the service quarters. I'm also mainly set. I'm gonna save here as well because I've done the first bell right. I'm not sure I'll get the second bell right. And there's, there's some difficult jumps kind of ahead. Come on, bitches, let's go! <laughs> I don't mean it nasty like that. I just mean like... <laughs> like, badass ladies. Oh, I just got that book. Might do a little reading of that another day. <coughs> got my drink. Let me have my bit of my drink.
caught in the middle of this crap? What fully qualified arsehole stops to kill a cook? They always kill the servants first, my dear. Otherwise they could run and warn someone. Oh sure, reasonable, innit? Friggin' garbage. Uh. To get, get rather confused about being lost on. I don't know. There might be something here. Better take a closer look. Can I see? Oh. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This man was a council of Herald's emissary. Curious to find him here. The crest of the Chalon family. Duke Gaspard will answer for this. Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> Oh shit. Bye time! Minotauri agents! The Venatori were watching this approach. They're organized. I'm sort of remembering this place. Yes. Oh. Okay, I'm down. I don't want to get anxious over. And I think this is the court approval thing and the bells. Hopefully, eh, the bell won't ring until after I get to a certain area. And yeah, I'm near the thing. them round um what's been me I think we're going to get too distracted. Shit, don't get yourself too distracted. Okay, get caught out. So I'm just going to... You tell my anxiety is...
Waffe abstellen. Yes. If we get a sense of an ending, then that's a very important door to go through, but unfortunately... Um, for what I want to do... Is sacrifice a lot. I don't think I can... I would want to sacrifice that much. Inquisitor Kadash. What an historic moment. The first part of Targinov paid us invited to court. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. I'm glad to meet you finally, Ambassador. Your reputation for getting results is well deserved. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a Council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. The Empress needs to know what's going on. You can try to warn her. Uh, she won't believe anything I'm from you. Well, I misjudged you, you, back and you me. might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. What do I have to give you in exchange for this army of spies? A moment of consideration. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. <sighs> More politics and double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? It's the game, my dear. Everyone plays it here. I mean, how many peach points I got? Oh, 
I'm just gonna make shit. My anxiety's getting the bad of me again. I need to put the map. Where's this blinking coin? Off oh, inside the bone, I think it is. Um. I must have found this one already. Now this mission does give me major anxiety because it's so like finicky and puzzling and stuff. Um, Oh, I was going to go back. Hey, shit. Quick.
it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Phil. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. No, I'm just going to burn Okay, I'll go risk it. Inquisitor Kadash, who we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... A certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. I've never thought the Carter could tell one human from another. Just how much do you know about our civil war? What do you think I ought to know? My brother and my dear cousin have been at each other's throats for too long. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. I hope I sense what options are picked. In times like these, it's hard to ones. tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlais. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. I'd happily do more dancing. Just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morgan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. 
The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Selene is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. You have an idea, Liliana? What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. <laughs> this evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orle. More than that. Whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thavis. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orle to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. You be careful, but in the meantime... Now you want to talk to, talk to the Dowager. You are an interesting one. A dwarf from the Carta, of all places, with the manners of a noble. The Merchant Guild will be outraged. I like your opinion of this gathering, my lady. It's doomed to fail, of course. Selene knows that. At least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. For shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantelo? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well versed in the game. But you have other dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me your dance for later? Good evening, my lady. Mistress Nightingale, what a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. What is Lady Pentecost wearing? Labriella? You must be Inquisitor Kadash. I've heard stories. You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? I want to know more about the peace talks. What are you hoping to gain from tonight's negotiations? A voice. Simple enough, isn't it? My people have none. We've lived for centuries amid the lowest ranks of society. No one hears us. No one sees us. If the elves of Halam Shiral were elevated, if we had an elven noble at court, we'd have recognition. 
choice. How much can a single member of the court do? It won't remake the world overnight, if that's what you're asking. Our problem is invisibility. The people in power are used to ignoring us. We're not actors, we're scenery. We need elves in positions where they can't be overlooked. We need to force humans to take us seriously. How will you persuade the Empress to elevate an elf to nobility? It is already in place. Selene knows she needs us to tip the balance of the civil war in her favor. All we have to do is wait. She'll exhaust her other options and come to us for help. Then we'll name our price. I assume the role of elevated noble will fall to you, Milady Briand. Let's be honest, Inquisitor. The sole elven noble in the court isn't going to have a position of power and luxury. But that's the future. We need to focus on the task at hand. If Selene were killed, what would happen to your plans? Assuming I'm not the one blamed, it would be precarious. I've been working on Gaspard, but he's like a charging bull. It would be easier to rein him in if I had something that could hurt him. I had a question about you, Briala. I'm an elf, Inquisitor. That should tell you everything you need to know about my life. I'm good at what I do. And so that matters. I will help my people no matter the cost. I've been told you were romantically involved with the Empress. I didn't take you for a gossip monger, Inquisitor. I suppose your spies have already briefed you, so there's no point in pretending. Yes, Selene and I were lovers once, but we've gone our separate ways now. What's your story? How is an elf invited to the Empress's ball as an ambassador? Empress Selene and I have history. There was a time when I put my spies at her disposal. She knows my qualifications. We had a falling out. Now we are negotiating to determine whether I return to her side in the war. What do you mean, we had a falling out? She betrayed me. Turned me over to the guards on a trumped-up charge to save her political reputation. It wasn't personal. It's the game. That's how all Orlesians justify these things to themselves. It wouldn't do to let the court know she had an elven friend. If she doesn't win you back to her side, what do you intend to do? I have contingency plans. I'm not a child putting all my hopes on a single ball. This evening gives me access to Duke Gaspard. He's challenging. Not as progressive or persuadable as his cousin. But with time and sufficient blackmail, he might work with us. surprised you'd admit that, considering the circumstances. I know it's incriminating. Few harbor more resentment against Selene than I. But if she died after inviting me here, the court would certainly pin her death on me. An elf assassinating the Empress? Alienages across Orlais, across all Thedas, would be purged. That cannot happen. I want to know more about the peace talks. You might be interested in what I've found. It's about Gaspard. You think Gaspard was behind the murder of that council emissary and the Tevinter agents in the servants' wing? Gaspard is ruthless. He wants the throne, but to conspire with Tevinter? That's low, even for him. If you intend to stop him, you'll need irrefutable proof. His supporters will accept nothing less. Selene will never end the talks until she has no other choice. He's been threatening the nobles on the Council of Heralds. Typical. Gaspard's always been a bully, regardless of the Chevalier Code. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, to what do we owe this honor? 
We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. My investigations turned up something interesting. It concerns Ambassador Briala. Her people have infiltrated every part of the Winter Palace. This is extremely alarming, Inquisitor. She could be spying on our every word. How exciting! She killed ambassadors from both Selene and Gaspard and forged documents to both sides. How despicable! After the Empress extended her hospitality? She's better at the game than we thought. My investigations turned up something interesting. It concerns the Grand Duke. He's made a lot of threats to the Council of Heralds. The Grand Duke is all talk, Inquisitor. Very loud talk, accompanied by swords. He has never had any skill at the game. If the evening ends favorably for the Empress, how does the Inquisition benefit? Her Imperial Majesty brings the might of the Olysian Empire with her friendship. She is also a respected diplomat and world leader. She can forge alliances for you with Rivain, Antiva, the Underfells, and she throws the best parties. Perhaps you could tell me something then. We haven't been properly introduced. How rude of us to forget. Milady Inquisitor, may I present Lady Couteau? And Lady Colomb. And of course, Lady Fleur. We are the Empress's ladies-in-waiting. I'd like to know more about Empress Selene. Her Majesty has held the throne since she was just 16 years old. She is respected and beloved, not just in Orlais, but across Tidas. She doesn't care much for liver, and she drinks her tea black. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade! My friend, come in, have a drink. What can I do for you? You've been busily charming the cause, I see. I'd like to know more about you. All of Orle knows my story. But you, my friend, are far too sensible to be Orlesian. The heart of it is simple. I am the rightful heir to the throne of but my cousin, Celine, is a politician, while I am a man of action. She charmed the Council of Heralds. They gave the crown to her, and while it looks fetching on her, I intend to take it back. What's your claim to the throne? The Hundred Days Cock swept Val in 877. It killed thousands of children, royalty and commoner alike. There are only three living grandchildren of Emperor Judicale the First. Myself, my sister Florian, and Celine. And I am the eldest. By rights, the crown should have passed to me. You're the rightful heir. How did Selene become Empress? I am the oldest, but I lack the Valmont name. My mother was the late Emperor's sister. Selene is a Valmont. Her honored father was my mother's brother. 
but she is the youngest. When there is any doubt surrounding the line of succession, the matter falls to the Council of Heralds. Celine outplayed me, forming alliances on the Council for support. So they passed over me in her favor. So you intend to out-negotiate your cousin? It will take heroic effort on my part, Inquisitor. And a lot of brandy. The talks will take most of the evening. Make her willing, we will emerge triumphant. I have a question about the peace talks. What are you hoping to achieve at the negotiations? I intend to take back what is rightfully mine. Celine stole the crown through politicking. But I am the rightful emperor of Orle. The empire has been mired in intrigue for too long. We need a clear course of action. What action did you have in mind? The empire is declining. We cannot allow Nevara and Ferelden to chip away our borders. I will see Orle return to glory as the strongest nation in Thedas. You say you hate politics, but you're here to negotiate. I can play the game when I must. If I couldn't, I'd be dead by now, Inquisitor. But it is not my choice. Celine has my sister involved in this mess. I would prefer to settle this on the battlefield. But for Florian, I will sit and talk. If something were to happen to the Empress, how would that change your plans? Celine has not declared an heir. If the Maker called her home, the crown would fall to me. But the Council of Heralds would try to implicate me in any misfortune. If they succeeded, the crown could pass to my sister or one of our more distant cousins. How have the negotiations been so far? The port won't last the evening, I'm afraid. We will end the night with nothing. Which should surprise nobody, but it would disappoint my sister. I don't know why she had such high hopes for this ball. Florian always was hopelessly optimistic. The Grand Duchess says you're plotting to kill Selene. Resorting to rumor mongering, Inquisitor? Come, we are beyond such childish stratagems. My sister would never say that. There are no words to convince me that Florian would turn on me. I discovered something you might be interested in. It's about you, in fact. There's a council of Harold's emissary in the servants' quarters, stabbed to death with your knife. No. That's impossible. Who would try to pin such a crime on me? The elf? Seems unlike Celine. Want to tell me why you were threatening the members of the Council of Heralds? The language of politics, Inquisitor. If you cannot bribe politicians, you threaten them into backing down. Most of the Council are Celine's lapdogs. There was little chance I could win their support any other way. I discovered something you might be interested in. It's about Briala. She's got people hidden among the servants all over the palace. I suspected as much, but couldn't confirm it. She's a difficult adversary to predict. There's no telling what move she intends to make. She's killed ambassadors and changed their documents. You can prove this. Now that is interesting. What is she trying to accomplish? She bears closer watching than I thought. We'll speak later, Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend.
shoes. Interesting. Waste of time. Do some fuck you see. Boring. Inquisitor, are you enjoying the ball? This is your first presentation at court, is it not? I am Lady Marcelette, court historian to her Imperial Majesty. Are you here to chronicle the events of the evening for posterity? Oh, yes. This is a momentous occasion. The first meeting between the Grand Duke and Her Majesty since the war began. Even if, make her forbid, the talks should fail, it is an important moment in the history of the Empire. Good evening, Lady Marcellette. Another time, perhaps. Inquisitor. What a pleasant surprise. You haven't seen anything unusual tonight, have you? Nothing could be more peculiar than Gaspar and Selene dancing together. Now that you mention it, the royal wing is sealed, and no one knows why. A great pity. The garden in that part of the palace is exquisite. You could tell me about the Council of Heralds. What is its purpose? Of course, my lady. The Council of Heralds exists to oversee the inheritance and creation of new titles of nobility. Titles outside the royal family are not recognized at court, but they remain part of ancient estates. In the event that there is no clear inheritor to an estate, it falls to us to decide the case. Another time, perhaps. There's three stacks of silver rings. I'll get this. Just be patient. I get this. Just, but if I take the fox across with the second ring, no, that won't work. Stick with it. You'll figure it out. And it walks on three legs.
We're going a long way now. You should have considered that before threatening to burn them all in their homes. Well, that's useful. I must warn the library. It's time to explore the other little bit now.
this gossip. After room and for what? Ruffle storage. Real useful. Hello? Is anyone there? Somebody. Are you all right? I'm... I... I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace? Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. So this room belongs to the Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged. ...and the royal family moved to the guest wing. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? Squeak me, I'm so sorry. The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Knew it. I did. And I bet the hate's made it feel real good. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor.
What's this then? Swapping all the gold leaf. Diamonds, I bet. What happened? It's not what it looks like. Honestly, I would have preferred it if it were what it looks like. The Empress led me to believe I would be rewarded for betraying the Grand Duke. This was not what I hoped for. You're telling me that Empress Selene left you naked and trussed like a roast duck? Please, I beg you. Don't tell Gaspard. The Empress beguiled me into giving her information about plans for troop movements in the palace tonight. She knows everything. Everything. The Duke's surprise attack has been countered before it ever began. She's turned it into a trap. The moment he strikes, she'll have him arrested for treason. <laughs> She'll be all prim, but here's you with your bits out. <laughs> Clever Celine. Even I'm impressed. I don't know which is worse. Celine for using such a tactic, or him for falling for it. I'll protect you from Gaspard if you're willing to testify about Celine's trap. I'll do anything. Anything. Being so like they are. Ugh. I mean, I definitely what I can do now is go back and just go and have a trip at the palace and see if I can find anything I missed. I don't think whatever bits could be. We 
waste of time. They're definitely in the trophy room. Can I get my interceptor course? Long as we get a savage course. I should save first and then go in the gun under here. So I don't think I got them all, you know. Yeah, I think I did actually. Yeah, I think I did actually. Look at the map I got. Yeah, I remember getting three coins, yeah. I didn't hate the Winter Palace, that's a complicated, hard, long place to look. It could be any old place. Oh, I've got my top side of that. I'm so sorry, it's in my ugly belly. I swear every single like one of them little whisper spots like they have something until they don't turn red. There's others like oh no, this means come back later and check again. And one of them always I'll get this. Yeah, I think it's just be patient. Run back in town.
No, I definitely know this. Let's do two more secrets. I'll take the best of you all again, but if, I know you can hand stuff until uh, I'll tell um, Sarah that you done the quest for her. Are you allowed to bring Sarah? So there's more advantages that not bring her? Just looking at each other and what? I'm waiting for the party to start. Any hidden treasures from friends of your little network? You've cleared them out. <laughs> that would be good for some smirks, yeah? Any thoughts on who we're investigating? The Empress is pretty. It'd be fun to drink and kill stuff with Gaspard. Briada is freaking funny. Elves, elves, elves. But it's really a pissing match with an old lover. Don't know the rest, but that explains a lot. They're all lying, but Celine's nice to look at. Good thing we're here to save her neck. Back soon. Not going anywhere. I thought there's some missions really getting on my nerves.
This little thing that's really like niggling on me, like. Did you hear what got well, I know there's. Things missing. I've got seven, seven of a hunt under the wall wing again, but I'm 99% sure that I've done all that. Look, they're two away from that one. See, I'm two, I'm two for two. We will be in touch, Inquisitor. Gaspar is wasting his time. Where is that lazy Oh, look. I'm not in a percent sure that I looked everywhere. Okay, I miss this one there. Better than the rest of the council. Yeah, I checked in there. Check the corner in the festival again. I'm not in percent sure I did pardon me. Check there. Yeah, I did.
I'll double check here again, but I'm not sure. Again, there's no, uh, there's no. I'm not at seven quarters for the coins. So this is taking a really long time, but I'm being really, really precise to make sure that I've got this all right. It can't be where the hollow are because they're already double checked there. I'm about to jump down, aren't I? Oh, it. We should look around. There was a coin here. Doesn't mean that there's a missing coin. Check on the map could that be then? Unless it ah, uh, I think I was only missing that one coin in there, so I'm gonna double save so again and check the royal ring. I think I'll, I'll, well, I'll say we're near the exit, but then go climb the ladder. I did think I put my near the ladder. I'm sure I did.
Yeah, I've got everything in here, so let's leave here. Where does the document could be? Do you know there's only one of each left? I don't think it's in the festival. Let me double check the ball ring again for one more time. I wish I knew where that was. This should be in set along a quest. I'm sorry that it has not much entertaining, but it'll pick up soon. I think it's up for a coin. What's this then? Swapping all the gold leaf with diamonds, I bet. I don't look, I did swear, I did go, I did go over outside, didn't I? I swear I did. Oh, 
Make sure I'm sure it doesn't have anything special. better than the rest of the council. Did you see that panic that the ship roaming about? So I did grab one outside, didn't I? So also, I should do is really weird, but uh, you're missing something. So what could they be? I don't think they're outside in the first area. That's really good I picked them up. Oh, I'm getting so annoyed. Did I really not pick up the ones outside?
I did get a bunch outside, didn't I? I'll double check it. Yeah, I did get that one. So I couldn't 100% it, but... Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't 100% it, guys. Um, maybe in another... Maybe in the picture playthrough I can, but... But hey, the important thing is you get 100% approval. That's the important thing. And hopefully I get some big bonuses for handling and stuff by the Inquisition. I tried, I could be a chance I missed something somewhere, like a very small package. Anyway, this is Vivian. Liliana. Look at Lady Candian's slippers, trimmed with pearls and emeralds, and those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps. This is Halam Sheral Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the Great Game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smile, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. Do you really think Briala should be given influence? Selina has been in power long enough to expect support. If we secure her throne, she will be grateful. But such gratitude will pale beside that of one we raise up from nothing. Who is lower than the elf? If we place Briala in power with Gaspard as her mark, her debt to us will be great indeed. And Gaspard will have the throne he has wanted. With conditions, of course. I suspect he will still find it gratifying. You spoke of Lady Campion's shoes earlier. Shouldn't you be focused on other things? Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. Have you seen anything interesting? Oh, yes. Halam Sheral is lousy with scandals and scheming. But no sign of our Tevinter infiltrator, I'm afraid. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Miss Miller can't finish everything, yeah. but. Oh well. Let's just go in this mission now. Do, 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 do. 
Room after room, and for what? Ruffle storage. Real useful. What's this then? Swapping all the gold leaf with diamonds, I bet. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment, if you're looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Selene's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. You don't have to go through with this, Florian. There's still time to turn back. Oh, my dear Inquisitor, you are so naive. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Selin myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? No more demons. It's safe. Maker? I've never seen one that close before. I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here? Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Your accent sounds Ferelden. I thought you were one of Gaspard's mercenaries. Born and raised in Denerim. Seems like I should have stayed there. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight. But he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. 
He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlay. Stinking bunch of cheesemongers. Want a new job? One that pays better? The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. <laughs> you want me to talk to <laughs> I like the way I like the way I Come work for me. Chantry, I'll do it. Dukes in danger, run! Fuck. I'm gonna look for heavy reckoning now, quick look. Yeah, let one up! Holy hell! <laughs> Um, Delta, don't panic. You can still, I should still be able to get the option I need. If not, then I'll reload. But I think I can still get the option I need without having to reload. Here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. We are the court. One more show, Your Grace. 
I'm giving you a chance to end this peacefully. There's no need for more death. Corypheus is only using you. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You've already forgotten trying to kill me in the garden just a moment ago. You arranged for your brother to be at the ball, so everyone would be watching him while you carried out your plan. So when the council emissary stumbled into the wrong room and found your assassins, you could pin the blame on Gaspar. The Empress, your brother, and the entire court all here as your guests, a tempting target for Corypheus. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. I did not wish to, but it seems I have no choice. Gaspar, you cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspar? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. <laughs> you wanted to see what, what plan Sailor has for, for Florian. I think we should speak in private, elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing? Or that you're trying so hard to play innocent? And failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Every one of you is implicated. You all conspired to allow this to happen. That's a bold claim, Inquisitor. Are you prepared to defend it? You allowed the Grand Duke to sneak soldiers in, hoping he'd make a politically foolish move. That's duplicitous, even for you, Selim. You took the bait. I met your mercenary captain, Your Grace. He says you are ready to attack tonight. Clever move. If you were trying to get hanged for treason. And Briallo was playing both of you. She murdered your ambassadors and sent you each forged letters. Even if I did, you can't touch me. No one will defend you once it's revealed that you and Selene were lovers when she burned Halam Shiraz's alienage. You've made your point. What do you want? You are three of the best minds in the Empire. You could do so much for Orlais and your people if you stopped fighting. It is remarkably... optimistic to believe that the three of us could ever forget our differences, Inquisitor. It's like I cannot believe you want to make a speech. Answer. This is foolish. We have no choice. The nobility requires an answer for what happened. Unless you want to pretend the war was all a dream. That would go over well. No more dithering. We make the cut swift and clean. Kindness to all of us. Lords and ladies of the court, we are pleased to announce that an accord has been reached. Our cousin Gaspar will now hold a place of honor in our cabinet. <laughs> Friends, we assembled are the leaders of the Empire. We must set the example for all Thedas. We cannot be at war with each other while the Fade itself challenges our borders. We must stand united, or surely we will fall alone. We will save Thedas from calamity, but only together may we accomplish this. 
We will heal our wounded country. A long road of reconstruction lies before us. But tonight, we celebrate the arrival of peace. Let the festivities commence! The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle after all your efforts on their behalf. <laughs> I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus. Thus, it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. Um, so I liked the cut of Morgan's jib. But to be disappointed when she finds out that she... Oh, well, hopefully we'll... Welcome to the that. Inquisition, Morgan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Hey you! They brought out the booze and now Delance is chucking guts into Lord Sumgit's helmet. You're missing the fun part. What's wrong? <laughs> Sarah, everything is just fine. I couldn't be happier. Yes, you could. You could be in there with me, getting stupid. Really, really stupid to match this crowd. Come on, let's have some fun. It's our turn. Sarah, dance with me. <laughs> I don't... You be careful, or I will absolutely stomp your pinky. Is that a new window? No, it's up the front. <laughs> <laughs> The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, Rabir Mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Maker's mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. 
However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor, please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Seeker Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Leliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Fader. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Liliana and Cassandra are candidates to become the Divine? How is that possible? Not yet, but they could be. We need them to be. There is precedent. Other times when clerics remain deadlocked, a successor was chosen from outside the clergy. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. These aren't just any two people. They're key members of the Inquisition. For the sake of Thedas, we must ask you to make this sacrifice. This will have to be settled later. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Great on it! <laughs> Double must Double <laughs> Records
Ai, tava fazendo uma chatinha. Tava mal. Tava mal. Tava mal. Tava mal, Stas. Tava mal, Stas. Double must, double must have power. Your worst. Before we do, we've got a judgment to do. I do not believe a reminder is necessary for this accused. Her capture and disgrace could not have been more public. Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon, although her titles are among the dignities already at risk of forfeiture. You spared her life despite her treachery. What becomes of it now falls to you. Out of your element, Florian. Welcome to the Inquisition. My party. Nah. Despite her posture, Lady Florian has acknowledged your authority. Should I curse you on behalf of the Elder One? I realize he had no intention of honoring the Concordats I manipulated. Do as you must. I respect your mastery of the game, even as I despise your victory. Celine does not know her fortune. <laughs> well, she has caused no end of misery. It's time she brought some joy. Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon, jester to the Inquisition, in flat shoes. History's greatest malevolence, Inquisitor. I am the jest of Orlé already. <laughs> The Inquisition now have a jester. <laughs> oh, where, where is she living? Your worship. I also want to do some editing as well, actually. I will, I'll give these some more chance because I want to get, it to get more action packed in the next episode. Yeah, the reason I'm changing that for is because I think, so I think that's, oh I need to level up as well, don't I?
There's still some me the book quest stuff. Done the book quest ages ago. I know I'm just probably didn't get a chance to finish all of the quests, but we did a majority of them. Yeah, I'm gonna go out and speak to people, see how they feel the last quest went. So, Merrick, how do you feel? I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be Bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Thanks, Varric. No problem. How do you feel about four, I buddy? Spare some time. What do you need? I've read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Jealous? There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations, machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. I'm pleased you had a good time. Political gambits, broken promises, half-truths. It is a palace full of motivation, and motivation is where great things happen. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally. Especially after helping her neutralize Riala. Am I sensing concern over how we dealt with Riala? No. Why would I disapprove of... Oh, because we're both elves. I'm sorry, I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Nor should you. You're not defined by the shape of your ears. They're not your people. No, they are not. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the elves of Orlais, I believe Riala is doing quite well on their behalf. She is an admirable woman. She's done good work. Hopefully, with our help, she can help them even more. Yes. However much I identify, or fail to identify, with her people, Riala's efforts have been remarkable. She organized resistance against a powerful enemy, using only her wits and the resources at hand. That demands respect, especially in a world where most would look at her and only see a pair of pointed ears. <laughs> I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. Perhaps you could ask Sarah. She has opinions. You don't much care for Sarah, do you? I pity her. Although I imagine she would detest that. Perhaps in truth, I envy her. She has a purity of purpose that I lack. I have observed too much and done too little. What do you wish to know? What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of the Vinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. I'd like to know more about Dalish elves. It is a mistake to think of the Dalish as a single group. They have lived as separate clans for centuries now. As a consequence, each clan has learned, interpreted, and forgotten different parts of elven history. Some trade freely with humans, or adopt city elves who flee the alienages. Others attack humans on sight. I'd like to know more about the elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvenan was the empire. And Arlathan, its greatest city, a place of magic and beauty, lost to time. You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? 
We hear stories of them living in trees and imagine wooden ramps of Dalish arabelles. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches, palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who live forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. Is elven magic different from the magic used by humans? No, and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. The legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic and an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition? I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. Ah, oh, that's the thing. Would Taylor think it's evil? Or should you not give two shits? Actually, one of you actually give two shits. To be honest, I don't see it as different from any other magic. It's a means to an end. Indeed. The problem is that under the Chantry, blood magic is forbidden, so only criminals practice it. While into winter, magisters compete with each other instead of keeping their volatile friends in check. They always succeed through power, so they have never had the chance to learn another way. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Inquisitor. I'm interested in what you told me of yourself and your studies. If you have time, I'd like to hear more. You continue to surprise me. All right, let us talk. Preferably somewhere more interesting than this. Now I'm finally getting the dream thing. God shell is my hat. <laughs> Must have hated me. Ow. <coughs> Thanks a long to load. Oh. Why here? Haven is familiar. It will always be important to you. We talked about that already. I sat beside you while you slept, studying the anchor. I'm glad someone was watching over me. You were a mystery. You still are. I ran every test I could imagine, searched the Fade, yet found nothing. Cassandra suspected duplicity. She threatened to have me executed as an apostate if I didn't produce results. I would never have agreed to that. You were in no position to argue. You were never going to wake up? How could you? A mortal sent physically through the Fade. I was frustrated, frightened. The spirits I might have consulted had been driven away by the breach. Although I wished to help, I had no faith in Cassandra, or she in me. I was ready to flee. The breach threatened the whole world. Where did you plan to go? Some place far away, where I might research a way to repair the breach before its effects reached me. I never said it was a good plan. Charles, you I a good plan, Stank. 
One like more attempt to seal the rifts. I tried and failed. No ordinary magic would affect them. I watched the rifts expand and grow, resign myself to flee, and then... It seems you hold the key to our salvation. You had sealed it with a gesture. And right then, I felt the whole world change. It was that impressive to see me awake? You had walked in the Fade. I have explored the Fade more than anyone alive. But even I can only visit in dreams. But you, you might have been able to visit me here while awake. What do you mean? Where do you think we were? This isn't real. That's a matter of debate. Probably best discussed after you wake up. God damn it, Solus. well I've never done anything like that before do you regularly talk to people in dreams no consider that one more rule you have effortlessly broken in your rise to power I had no idea that the anchor would allow you to dream with such a focus it is truly remarkable but I am reasonably certain we are awake now and if you wish to discuss anything I would enjoy talking I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Baron Dur, a lost Devinta city buried deep beneath a dead and barren wasteland. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city seared and smothered. They were statues in the ashes, like a mold made to recall the lost. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a savage human horde go marching toward the battlefront. They sang a soldier's hymn to keep formation. Primal music shook the ground. These savage, unwashed warriors carried harmonies no chantry choirs mastered. Though their cause was all but hopeless, they sang songs that made the spirits weep. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I met a friendly spirit who observed the dreams of village girls as love first blossomed in their adolescence. With subtlety, she steered them all to village boys with gentle hearts, who would return their love with gentle kindness. The matchmaker, so I called her. That small village never knew its luck. We'll talk later. Goodbye.
Something wrong with your tea? It is tea. I detest this stuff. But this morning, I need to shake the dreams from my mind. I may also need a favor. You just have to ask. One of my oldest friends has been captured by mages, forced into slavery. I heard the cry for help as I slept. I'd be happy to help. What did these mages use to capture your friend? Blood magic? A summoning circle, I would imagine. I'm sorry? My friend is a spirit of wisdom. Unlike the spirits clamoring to enter our world through the rifts, it was dwelling quite happily in the Fade. It was summoned against its will, and wants my help to gain its freedom and return to the Fade. I thought spirits wanted to find their way into this world. Some do, certainly. Just as many Orlesian peasants wish they could journey to exotic Ravain. But not everyone wants to go to Ravain. My friend is an explorer, seeking lost wisdom and reflecting. It would happily discuss philosophy with you, but it had no wish to come here physically. Do you have any idea what the mages want with your friend? No. It knows a great deal of lore and history, but a mage could learn that simply by speaking to it in the Fade. It is possible that they seek information it does not wish to give, and intend to torture it. All right. Let's go get your friend. Thank you. I got a sense of my friend's location before I awoke. I'll mark it on our map. Inquisitor. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Business, the Winter Palace. You saved an empress, and now she's eating out of your hand. Perfect mental image. All this dancing, politics, and murder ah, makes me a bit homesick. Happy to oblige. A taste of home, just for you. Not just for me. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> Perhaps I should have invited some. We were there. That's what. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. Tasted of despair. Fascinating. <laughs> I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. Make any, make, uh, uh, I make no promises. I heard of your verdict on Alexios, Inquisitor. It was all he deserved. I hope it serves as a warning for anyone, Magister or no, who thinks of trying that again. Trust everything is well with the mages? There have been a few scuffles with your Templars, but overall it is going well. I'll leave you to it. Hey Liliana. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? <laughs> when Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Fadus. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. You're right reading it? Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. 
This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. You know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. You take your instructions from me. What sort of help can a dead divine give you? I don't know. Fuck thing. Perhaps something to do with a chantry. Or it could be personal. She Shit, guided me for many years, Inquisitor, as a divine and as a friend. There are days when I still look to her for advice, only to remember that I am alone. Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the Divine. It is a place that holds great meaning for her. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. My dear, I'm afraid I must ask you for help. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other women sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. We shall ever be in. I shall. The column. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. 
I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was well, not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. past isn't always pleasant. Sometimes you have to let go and move on. I can't forget what happened, but it led me here. I can make that mean something. Anyway, I meant to thank you, not trouble you further. You've enough to worry about. How are you holding up? I've met good people here. Knowing they have my back, it helps. You certainly keep interesting company. I suppose I do as well. Just double check just one more time. I think I'm... I don't think I can talk to Vivian anymore. Come check on Cullen. Wardens, both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. What better way to demoralize the people of Thetis than to corrupt their heroes? If Corypheus appears with Templars and Wardens at his side, why shouldn't they follow too? Because now is not the time to lose hope. The Inquisition must serve as an example. We must stand where others fall. May I ask you something? Of course. You've mentioned siblings. With everything that's happening, do you know if they're all right? I've received word from my eldest sister. She was always good at tracking me down. South Reach has experienced the same chaos as everywhere else. My family is fine. Pray they remain so. Your sister tracked you down? She didn't know where you were? I let her know I was in Haven. She assumed I survived. It's not the first time. I may have neglected to tell her when I was transferred to Kirkwall. Why? I wasn't in a good state. I wanted only to leave. I received an angry letter about my disappearance two years later. For all her reprimands, it was a relief to hear from someone who knew me before the Blight. The Inquisition won't last forever. What will you do when this is over? To be honest, I haven't given it much thought until recently. I'm not used to having so many possibilities. Do you think Templars should cease to exist? No. I may have chosen to lead that life, but I respect those who remain. Magic ungoverned could tear the world apart. It's doing so now. Templars are trained and able to confront such dangers. <laughs> What would you suggest? Some call the circle a prison that can only breed resentment. Perhaps opportunities to work outside the circle. A mixed military service or healers clinics with Templar support. And there must be a safer way for Templars to leave. Templars can lose their memories to lyrium. Some call it a gift to forget the failed harrowings, the demons. Some atrocities haunt me still. But to lose what good I can recall, I nearly lost my mind once. It is no gift. The circles may have faltered, but they were not without merit. That system should be restored, not abandoned. The circle may bring peace for a time, if only because people crave stability. But how long would it last? You still regret the man you became after leaving Ferelden? After the Ferelden circle, I thought all mages were like the ones there. Knight Commander Meredith's methods were harsh, but they kept people safe. You've said Meredith was unstable. She was my knight commander. I had no reason to distrust her. She wasn't wrong about the blood mages in Kirkwall. Meredith encouraged my anger towards the mages. But it was only so far I would go, and she knew that too. I was her second in command. She kept decisions from me, those I would question. 
I believed she was serving the city. I never thought to question her. Not until it was too late. I hope you find the Inquisition's leadership more agreeable. I am confident you will see us through to the end. The Inquisition is my chance to atone. I will not see it fail. That's all I wanted to know. Another time, then. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd be perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. It wasn't the gossip and backstabbing, I know what the game entails, but the indifference to it all. I didn't care for it myself. I shouldn't be surprised. Chantry can be the same. Their politics are less extravagant, but just as heated. Celine and Gaspard rule a country. Their divine influence is half a continent. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Understand the grand ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. That would have made everything much simpler. The colors were pretty, though. I'll talk to you later. If you like. From Haven Spire come we the able food to Sky. Inquisitor? Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the Chargers? If you Orlesian nobles didn't like how things ended at the Winter Palace, they're not rebelling outright, but they've brought in mercenary companies in preparation. The Chargers have a good reputation. If we go in, we can buy the companies out from underneath them. The nobles will lose the men they met for causing trouble, and the Inquisition gets some fresh blood. We'll talk later. You learn fast, but then you need to. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Kune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. Good to see you, boss. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. I'll go back to speak to Fumi later. Now what? There is an issue that you should address. I think it's worth your time, Inquisitor. Of course. Nothing up there, okay. How many supporters inside? Don't know draft warden. You're drawing Grey Warden! Seen bigger car. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until. And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, Your Worship. What's going on now? I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Liliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amar III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. If they'll pick non-priests, why am I not a candidate? Because they don't know what you are, and they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. 
I just don't know why they believe Liliana or I would be any better. If you don't want it, then tell them so. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars. This cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you, of all people, say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. The Chantry has failed, Cassandra. I wonder if the legions of faithful throughout Thedas would agree with you. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. You're not the only candidate. What about Liliana? Liliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy, but she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change. Liliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think, and that would be chaos for us all. We have more important things to worry about right now. One day we must turn our thoughts to what comes after. That's not today. I suppose that is true. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Inquisitor? Inquisitor. So, you're a candidate for Divine now? So I am informed. Is that something you actually want? Why should what I want matter? Why shouldn't it matter? Don't you have the right to be happy? It is very simple. The Chantry needs to survive. To do that, it must change. I have never believed in asking another to do what you are unwilling to do yourself. So I look upon this as an opportunity. I owe it to myself and all of Thedas to seek the Sunburst throne. There are other ways you can change things. Perhaps. I may not have a choice in the matter if the Chantry clerics pick another. That's enough for now. Another time, then. <laughs> She's gone to a bit of a long tantrum, but I don't mind it so much. Oh, oh, Bells, it's you. Um, <clears throat> Morris. Sir Morris, I suppose. I am serving as quartermaster for Skyhold and its arriving throngs. Stores are growing, and so long as we have fair coin to restock, you and yours will be well served. <clears throat> there are problems coming out of Halamshiral? There are always problems from Halam Shirao. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. 
I might have done that or not. Um, let's get some black organ. That's cool. Want a drink? I've a hankering for company. When I was a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day, they found a dog, a wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? Not the fireside tale I was expecting, Blackwall. Just listen. I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs, the neck straining and twisting. And I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You said you were just a boy. I was old enough to know the dog was suffering and that it was wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We could make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. Nothing worth doing is easy. <laughs> Look at you. You would have done the right thing. Whatever you used to be, you aren't anymore. You're the Inquisitor. The Herald of Andraste. We're lucky there are people like you in the world. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. That was fucking cheers today. Eh? Um, hello? The spy master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. Go on. Liliana knows where he is, doesn't she? She knows everything. She doesn't know everything, yet. Sister Liliana had us search the warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start. Don't buy these because I've already got some horses. Oh. 
But shit, Blackfall's gone. Your plants are doing. See, so I don't know what plants I want. See, so yeah, I might. What I might do? I might um check the um. Excuse me. The um out. Uh, um, I can't. My brain can't think what they're called. Check the mug. Right. You're the Inquisitor. You're very short. Mother didn't say you were a dwarf. That's not such a terrible thing, is it? No, it would be worse. If you couldn't touch magic at all. Like being blind. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on her hand, Mother? I did see. It is time to return to your studies, little man. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> My son, never where you expect him to be, naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy but seldom troublesome. Will his father be joining us as well? It would be most unlikely. His father helped raise Kieran for a time, but events have conspired to take him elsewhere. So tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place and you will scarce notice our presence. He seems like a fine young man, but not the sort one might expect a woman like me to raise. No son of mine would be raised in a marsh, bereft of contact with the outside world. His future will be difficult enough without my adding to his burden. To think, until recently this place stood decrepit, occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. I like this place. I've made it mine. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. I appreciate whatever help you can give us. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask, what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed, it is that he actually may. Leliana gave me the note that the hero of Ferelden included for me.
she may even have left it sealed. A pity. You would have learned things that could make even an Orlesian blush. Now, was there anything else? Now that you've seen the Inquisition up close, what are your impressions? Tis remarkable what you have built. I will give you that. Soldiers are camped outside Skyhold in numbers that would give any nation pause. All this in precious little time conjured from thin air through the power of fervor alone. I wonder if Corypheus suspected what he was enabling, just as I wonder what will become of all this once he is defeated. We have to defeat him first, then I'll worry about what's next. Should that happen, the world will lie at your feet, more or less. Beware the heights you reach, Inquisitor. When this is done, many will be eager to knock you back down. What work have you been doing to help us? Currently, my efforts are focused on determining what Corypheus is, and from where his power comes. The elven orb he carries is what draws my attention. I wonder if the power he used to tear open the Fade, in fact, came from the orb. Perhaps it is even the source of your anchor. If I learn of its origin, I may also learn what Corypheus now intends, as well as his weaknesses. I could use your company for my excursions outside Skyhold. I have spent my share of time wandering the wilderness in the company of others, Inquisitor. Thank you for the invitation, but for now I will restrict my efforts to researching the arcane. Is it even possible that Corypheus could succeed? The Black City exists. Wherever one goes in the Fade, it is visible in the sky. The last time Corypheus and his cohort stormed its doors, they unleashed the Blight upon the world. This time, perhaps he might indeed gain untold power, becoming something unto a god. It is also possible he could unleash something far worse than the Blights. So yes, Corypheus could succeed in his goal. If not, his attempt alone could destroy the world. Corypheus says I'm a rival. Does that mean... Could you become a god? That depends. Are you prepared to use your anchor to enter the Black City? No. Never. Tell Corypheus that, and see if he believes you. Do you know anything about his dragon? It has the appearance of an archdemon. Of that, I am certain. A true archdemon, however, is supposedly the corrupted form of an old god. Has Corypheus actually dug up one of the ancient prisons? If so, why has a new blight not begun? His dragon is something else, something connected to his blighted nature as well as his magic. Beyond that, I cannot say. However you can help, it's appreciated. Continue prodding at Corypheus Inquisitor. Elicit a reaction, and we may yet learn from it. What work have you been doing to help us? Currently, my efforts are focused on determining what Corypheus is, and from where his power comes. The elven orb he carries is what draws my attention. I wonder if the power he used to tear open the Fade, in fact, came. If I learn of its origin, I may also continue prodding at Corypheus Inquisitor, elicit a reaction, and we may yet learn from it. I'd like to know more about you. Ah, yes. Whence comes the mystery woman slinking her way into the Inquisition's ranks? Once I was an apostate, living well away from the banal influence of the Chantry in the Kukari Wilds. Then came the Fifth Blight with its dark spawn, and I left Ferelden for the Empress's court. Tis certain the nobles of Orlais breathe a collective sigh of relief that I am now here. It's odd that an apostate could live so... openly. It confuses those who expect apostates to cower and hide. I stand boldly before them and demand to know why I need some Chantry mage to teach me to control my power. They would put me on a leash so they can feel safer at night. I am uninterested in their comfort. Naturally, it helps to have friends in high places. You were in Ferelden during the Blight? The Blight began in the Kokari Wilds, so yes, I experienced it firsthand. 
Indeed, I fought at the hero of Ferelden's side for a time. He is the reason the Blight was defeated. We became close, closer than I even thought possible. When I left, he pursued me. And after that, I came to Orlay, the last place one would look for me, or such was my hope. The Orlesian Court seems like an odd place to find someone like you. That was the point, originally. I knew the Empress was intrigued by the Arcane, and that I could answer questions no Chantry Mage could. Thus, we fit together nicely. I became her advisor, and she my benefactor and source of refuge. Truth be told, our arrangement would not have lasted much longer. Too many wagging tongues, even for Selene. Tell me more about your son. He is a very special young man. Special in what way? In every way. At first, Kieran was a means to an end. But as he grew, I never thought of myself as a mother, Inquisitor. I, I had no good example to follow. I find myself becoming something I can barely recognize. I'll leave you to the garden. As you like. Alright, Chad. Inquisitor, the soldiers say you banished the demons at Adamant and freed the Grey Warden mages. I understand from Sister Leliana that the truth is somewhat more complex, but no less extraordinary. She said that you spoke with a figure in the Fade that seemed to be the soul of divine Justinia. I suspect many of the faithful would like to know what Justinia told you. She helped me remember what happened at the Conclave. The Maker didn't give me the mark on my hand. I was struck in battle, and Andraste didn't send me. The figure everyone saw was Divine Justinia. So it is as you have always maintained. You must feel quite vindicated. I may not have believed. Part of me always hoped it was true, that I was the Herald of Andraste. Who is to say that you are not? Forget the mark. Forget the figure standing over you as you fell from the fade. The people needed a sign that in this harsh and unforgiving world, there existed some reason to hope. And they found that in you. That isn't how it works. The evidence for me having some divine mission was proven false. This is the trouble with metaphors and the educated. A farmer cannot understand the truth of the Maker, so he learns that the Maker is a man, but greater. A mage learns the same thing, knows it to be simplistic, and feels clever for realizing it is not literally true. But a metaphor is not a lie. It is a tool to help people understand something beyond them. And we need such a tool. That's well and good for humans and the Maker. I don't remember any dwarves in the Chant of Light. Your people are mentioned here and there. But your ancestors in Orzimar follow the stone. Perhaps the stone is a metaphor for all creation and the Maker's hand in it. Perhaps it is a guide for living well. I must believe there is something beyond the metaphors that divide and confuse. Something that watches and cares. And I will continue to pray to whatever that is, as best I can. Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable um, us to save many lives. Farewell. Farewell. Hi, Kieran. Inquisitor. Farewell. I'm try talking to someone one more time. I doubt I'll, I can. I'll go to Justinia and then 
Too bad I did off. It took a bit longer than what I planned. Can't make heads or tails of this. Age regression? Who is this potion for? Do you need something, my dear? What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? Our dear Lord Dorian is very sure of himself, isn't he? Let's hope he doesn't get his confidence crushed. Yeah, let's hope not, anyway. Let's check, check the ghost screen and then get our stuff from Skyhold. Hey, Jersey. How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. You don't see the Empress of Orlais almost killed in cold blood every day. Not so brazenly, no. The game's become increasingly insular in the past two years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing that so few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at Bebol have secured us allies and favors alike. Playing the game was thrilling. We did just make history. Indeed. Tales of this affair have begun circulating in Val Royale. Although I do wish Varric would show a bit more restraint in his accounts of the evening. I was hoping you'd be by. We've received letters from Archon Redanus of Tevinter and King Marcus of Nevara. For both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of. Then the Inquisition's deeds have won their respect. They'd never have contacted us otherwise. Our Chad, what are you doing? <laughs> Chad, what are you Destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaran Tevinter border. King Marcus asks the same, but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead of Tevinter. What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Orle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. Tevinter is the longer, richer game. What sort of man is the King of Navarra? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a Pentecost. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Navarra. As a Pentecost, Will Cassandra be upset if we don't help her relatives? With all respect to Sigar Pentagast, her interest in politics is best described as... thin. Why is the ruler of Tevinter turning on the Venatori? He has little reason to love them. Archon Redanus has rightly identified Corypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. Tell me about Redanus. Like most Tevinter rulers, He's heir to an ancient bloodline, politically shrewd, and a highly skilled mage. Rumor also claims he has an incredibly soft spot for cats. No, but I mean, he likes Tell cats. Tell the Inquisition will do to Vinter the favor of wiping out the Venatori on its borders. Very good, Inquisitor. We'll inform him at once. I should just kick off another event. Time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? Our alliance with Orle holds, for the present. They'll send aid on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus's followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. 
Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thetis long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking Elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. I'll ignore that you wandered in without knocking. You have my attention. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. No! Go away! Sorry, he's getting too close to the cop. Sorry, Terry's getting too close to the concert. Oh my. I didn't want to accidentally touch it and switch it off. Ted, come here! Ted! Ted, come here! This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. It's beautiful in its way. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? It's not a long one up to the hour, isn't it? You know, spent most of most of it lost. I call it the crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. What do you mean a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Open how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key? The key can be many things. Each Alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? 
Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I had a respite with the man I love. For a time, I had a safe place to raise my son. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barrier and enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. So before we do that, we must severely weaken his efforts in the parts of the world that we already have been to. Inquisitor. Farewell. Farewell. Oh, pardon me, I'm so sorry. Um, I have been for longer than what I planned. Inquisitor. I'm going to quickly um, go shut up. The quests. Now I've got a whole bunch to do. Here's an end of the book. Funny. Mm. Oh shit, hit wrong button. Bollock. Sorry. Because you have to do it. First, you have to do all of it with Josie. Excuse me, Chad. What are you doing? Where'd he go there? Look at all these quests I can do now. It was interesting to see how much has changed in Halam Shiral. And so little. Madame Meprise is a fixture. The sun will grow cold before she retires. Inquisitor.
see what we have. That's it, that's all the quests I could do for now. But next time we are going to go back to the exotic plains and do some side quests there. Getting stuff for Solus and um, Vivian. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. If you're watching some tricks, please give us a follow and any subs that you have available. Now I'm going to double check who's on, but I think I already know who we're going to be raiding. Double check that one. Let's go see someone we don't know we're getting ready to, especially as we like to stream show late at night. Anyway, you guys gonna jump? Huh? So it's not gonna let oh. That's weird. Try again. Oh, it's ready in progress. Okay then. Never mind. See you everyone. Bye bye.